I'm Paul Cashmere, and here's today's music news from undercover.com.au. Happy birthday to Mick Jagger. He turned 65 on the weekend and under British law can now retire. Well, will he? I don't think so. The Rolling Stones have just moved their catalogue to Universal Music and they're already in talks about having another tour for next year. It's been revealed that Peaches Geldof, the daughter of Sir Bob Geldof and Paulie Yates, overdosed on heroin a week ago. The 19-year-old was taken to hospital and later released. Her mother, Paula, died of a heroin overdose in 2000. It was just two years after her partner, Michael Hutchins, of in excess, died officially from suicide, but that was widely thought to be an accidental death from autoerotic asphyxiation. Baby Shambles' Pete Doherty has pleaded guilty to criminal damage and ordered to pay more than £1,000 after damaging a paparazzi's camera. Photographer Catherine Mead followed Doherty into a pub. He grabbed the camera and smashed a lens. Despite what the court thinks, Pete, good on you. Neo says he wants to record a duet with Marilyn Manson. He says he has an idea for a song that he thinks Manson would be perfect for. He's also revealed he wants to work with Chris Martin of Coldplay. Kevin Federline, aka K-Fed, is making a fitness DVD. The former husband of Britney Spears is working on a fitness tape and he hopes to have it released in January. And finally, Tina Arena will tour with Andre Bocelli. The Aussie star who now lives in France will perform duets with Bocelli on his Australian tour. They'll have a trial run in Lithuania before they get to Australia. The tour starts in Brisbane on August 22nd. And I'm Paul Cashmere. Find out more about these stories and others today at undercover.com.au.